Okay, so um, first of all, welcome everybody. Again, welcome. I want to welcome everybody. Um, I want to thank, I, I think it was the president of Israel and all the people who decided that we should unite in saying Shema Yisrael um, to try to create a hafahu um, and a miracle for Am Yisrael. We are incredibly privileged today to have two um, unbelievable women with us. Um, three unbelievable women, all in their own right. Um, and um, and I want to tell Dina and Sinai that we are standing with them, that we are here for them. How do I do and that? that we are doing this not so we can receive chizok. We are doing this so we can give them chizok, so that we can unite together and we can create a situation where we can hopefully um, help to swing the pendulum and um, bring 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 Gaula so that everybody, so our soldiers can be safe, our country can be safe, our people can be safe, our hostages can be returned, and um, we can all return to Eretz Yisrael and be one nation. Um, with the Kabbalah of Hashem filling the world. So with that, I want to say that we are very, very privileged to have Sinai and Dina. We will then go on to Lori. Lori will say a few words after Dina, and we will have Shema Yisrael together as a nation. I hope the whole world, the whole Jewish world, will stop at exactly 11.30 Eastern time, 5.30 Israel time, to say Shema Yisrael together and um, to declare Hashem's oneness and that all we understand is there's only Hashem and we want Hashem and we want the Ula and it's time, it's, time. it's, time. it's, time. it's time. Amish time. So with that, um, Sinai, Sinai Gedalia, Yosef's wife and Dina Gedalia, Gedalia, Yosef's mother. Yosef grew up in Beit Shemesh and lived in Jerusalem. Yosef loved and cared for Am Yisrael Eretz Yisrael, the Torah Yisrael. He was constantly working towards the Geula Shlema. Yosef was killed on Simchas Torah in protection of his land and his people. With that, Dina or Sinai is going to start with Tehillim. They're going to say the exact number of Tehillim. Please keep yourself on mute. They will lead us in the Tehillim and we will say it silently. So um, go ahead, Sinai. You want to introduce yourself? Thank you all very much. Um, I'm really humbled to be participating in this, and I feel that I'm really Yosef Shlicha in this. Um, I'll just share very two very small things. Um, on Simchat Torah, when Yosef left that day, I didn't know where he was going or what was happening at all. And all I wanted was to say Tehilim. And until then, I wasn't someone who regularly said Tehilim, and suddenly in those moments, it was the only thing that gave me comfort. And I saw that I had no control over what was happening, so I turned to the Tehilim. And that was what calmed me down that day. And I continue to find a lot of comfort, inspiration, and accuracy towards our current situation in Tehidim. Often I'll somewhat randomly choose a parak to say, and the words end up being so precise to my feelings and exactly what I need to hear. God willing, the Tehidim and to feel what we are saying now will bring us only comfort and good news. The other thing I want to share is about Yasef. Yasef strongly believed that each individual held immense strength unique to themselves. And when joined together, as he said, we are so strong. By gathering and exuding so much good, we are causing a butterfly effect of endless good. We have so much strength and so much good will God willing come of this. Yosef loved Am Yisrael so much and believed so strongly that we are so close to Gula Shlema. I believe that by joining together in Tehidim in prayer, we're only bringing it closer. So I'm going to start with um, Kaf, which is 20. And this is Lilu Nishmat Yosef Malachi um, for the Gulash Lima and for all of our people to come home, God willing. Ram Natsayach Mizmor le David, Yancha Adonai Beyom Tsara, Isagvecha Shem Eloe Yaakov, Ishlach Ezracha Mikodesh Mitzion Yisadecha, Iskor Kol Minuchotecha, or Atecha Yedashena Sela, Itenecha Kilavavavcha, Bekol at Satcha Yemale.
אלא בסוסים, ואנחנו בשם אדוני אלוהינו נזכיר. המה קראו ונפלו, ואנחנו קמנו ונתעודד. אדוני יושע, המלך יעננו ביום קוראינו. אנחנו going to say כ"ב, which is 22. למנצח על איילת השחר, מזמור לדוד, אלי אלי, למה עזבתני? רחוק מישועתי דברי שאגתי. אלוהי יקרא יומם ולא תענה, ולילה ולא דמויה לי. ואתה קדוש, יושב תלות ישראל. בך בטחו אבותינו, בטחו ותפלתנו. אליך זעקו ונמלטו, בך בטחו ולא בושו. ואנוכי תולעת ולא איש, חרפת אדם ובזוי עם. כל רואי ילעגו לי, יפטרו בשפה ינעו ראש. גול אל אדני יפלטהו, יצילהו כי חפץ פה. כי אתה גוחי מבטן, מבטיחי על שדי עיני. עליך השלחתי מרחם, מבטן עיני אל יעתה. אל תרחק ממני, כי צרה קרובה, כי אין עוזר. סבבוני פרים רבים, אבירי בשן, כי קרוני. פרצו עלי פיהם, הרי הטורף ושואג. כמים נשפ... נשפכתי ו... והתפרדו כל עצמותיי. היה לי בי כדונאו נמס בתוך מעי. יבש כחרש כוחי ולשני מודבק מן הכוחי. ולאפר מוות תשפטני. כי סבבוני כלבים, עדת מרעים הקיפוני, כארי ידיי ורגלי, אספר כל עצמותיי, המה יביטו ירו בי, יחלקו בגדי להם, ועל לבושי יפעילו גורל. ואתה אדוני אל תרחק, אלותי לעזרתי חושה, הצילה מחרב נפשי, מיד כלב יחידתי. הושיעני מפי אריה, ומקרני רעמים עניתני. אספרה שמך לאחי, בתוך קהל על עליך. יראה אדוני אלוהו כל זרע יעקב, כבדוהו וגורו ממנו כל זרע ישראל, כי לא בזר ולא שיקץ אין עוד עני, ולא הסתיר פניו ממנו, ובשו, ובשבעו אליו שמע. מאיתך תהילתי בקהל רב, נדרי אשלם נגד יריו, יאכלו ענבים ויספאו, יללו אדוני דרושיו, יחי לבבכם לעד, יזכרו ויושבו אל אדוני כל אפסי הארץ. וישתחוו לפניך כל משפחות גויים, כי לאדוני המנוחה ומושל בגויים, אכלו וישתחוו כל דשני ארץ, לפניו יכרעו כל יורדי עפר, ונפשי לא חיה. זרע יעבדונו, יסופר לאדוני לדור, יבואו ויגידו בצדקתו, לעם נולד כי עשה. Can I share my screen? Yeah, you can share. Okay. One second. Nope. Okay, hold on a minute. What's the next tell him, Dina? Did we say? 140. What did we say? 121? 91. 91 is next. 91 and 121. Hold on, just trying to share the screen here. Okay, does everybody see? Yes. Okay, so now we have 121. Okay, Kuf Kaf Alev. Shir Lamalot, Esai Nai El Harim Ayn Yavo Ezri. Ezri Meim Adonai Oseh Shamaim Ba'aretz. Al Yiten Lamot Raglecha, Al Yonum Shomrecha. Hinei Lo Yonum Velo Yishan Shomei Yisrael. אדוני שומרך, אדוני צילך על יד ימיניך. יומם השמש לא יככה וירח בלילה. אדוני ישמור חם מכל רע, ישמור את נפשך. אדוני ישמור צדך ובואכה מעתה ועד עולם. פרק קמ"ב, 142. משכיל לדוד בהיותו במערה תפילה, קולי אל אדוני אזק, קולי אל אדוני אתחנן. אשפוך לפניו שיחי, צרתי לפניו אגיד. בתעטף עלי רוחי, ואתה ידעת נתיבתי, באורך זו אהלך, תמנו פח לי. הבט ימין וראה, ואין לי מכיר, אבד מנוס ממני, אין דורש לנפשי. זעקתי אליך, אדוני, אמרתי, אתה מחסי, חלקי בארץ החיים. הקשיבה אל רינתי, כי דלותי מאוד. הצילני מרודפי, כי אמצו ממני. הוציאה ממסגר נפשי, להודות את שמך, ויחתירו צדיקים, כי תגמול עלי. פרק קל, 130. שיר המעלות, ממעמקים קראתיך אדוני, אדוני שמעה בקולי, תהיינה אוזניך קשובות לכל תחנוני. 
אם עוונות תשמרנו, תשמרי אדוני מי יעמוד, כי עמך הסליחה למען תברא, קיוויתי אדוני קיוותה נפשי, ולדברו אוכלתי, נפשי לאדוני, משומרים לבוקר שומרים לבוקר, יחל ישראל אל אדוני, כי אם אדוני החסד והרבה עמו פדות, והוא יפדה את ישראל מכל עוונותיו. פרק צדיק א', 91. יושב בסתר עליון, בצל שדי יתלונן, אומר לאדוני מחסי ומצודתי אלוהי אפתח בו, כי הוא יצילך מפח יחוש מדבע אבות, בעברתו יסך לך ותחת את כנפיו תחסה, שנאה וסוחר עמיתו, לא תירא מפחד לילה מחץ יעוף יומם, מדבר באופל יהלוך מקדב ישוד צהריים. יפול מצדך אלף ורבבה ממיניך אליך לא ייגש רק בעיניך תביט ושילומת רשעים תראה כי אתה אדוני מחסיא עליון שמת מעונך לא תאונה אליך רעה ונגע לא יקרא פעוליך על כפיים ניסיונך בלי תגוף באבן רגליך. אל שכל בבטן תדרוך תרומות כפיר בתנים, כי בי חשק ופתיר עוסק בהו, כי ידע שמי יקראני ואיני עמו נוחי בצרה. אחד זהו ואחד דהו, אורך ימים אספיר ואריר בשעותי. זה אני מספר עם משהו רבה בפסוק, כי מלאכה ויצא ולך תשמור לך ברכות דרכיך, אז אני בלס, אני בלס את הבויז. before they go out, I bless them with Bilkat Abanim, and then I say, Ki Melacha Vitzav, Alach Tishmor Chav Bechot Rechecha. And the... Dina, Dina, you want to say, you want to do 150? Yeah, I'll do 150. I just want to say, I blessed him, and and I said, Ki Melacha Vitzav, Alach Tishmor Chav Bechot Rechecha. And I believe that. I believe that. 150, I don't have it here, I was just going to say. הללויה הללו אל בקדשו, הללו ברקיע עוזו, הללו בגבורותיו, הללו קרוב גודלו, הללו בתיק השופר, הללו בנבע בחינו, הללו בתוך ומחול, הללו במינים ועוגיו, הללו בציצילי שמה, הללו בציצילי תרועה, כל הנשמה תהלל יא הללויה. Shabbat of Shmini Atzer Simchat Torah. We were, the whole family were in Yerushalayim together. I live in Bet Shemesh, the children live in uh, Yerushalayim. And the plan was we had a family minyan together, with the extended family, my husband's extended family. And we're all very looking forward to spending Shmini Atzer Simchat Torah together as a family in tefillah and meal and dancing. And, and we woke up that morning and uh, sirens already at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I did go to Shul, I went to the family minion, and as I was reaching uh, the house, I saw Yosef coming out together with Sinai, and he said that he's gonna go, gonna go to base, and I blessed him like I always bless him. I kissed him and I went. And, uh, I remember just thinking, I mean, that Shabbat, we, you know, we continued the tefillah, there were many sirens, you know, there were words of Israel's at war. We continued with tefillah, and the rest of us gathered at, uh, at uh, my son, Micha, Charlie's house for dinner. Charlie was still around, but meanwhile, Asher, my oldest son, who is a, in a, commando unit and a special unit. He already left that morning at eight o'clock. His wife was with us with the kids and she, he said that he left immediately. He's always on call. And um, my son-in-law, Yedidya, he's an officer in Sayyot Gibati, Yaeli's husband, he also got called. And then we're sitting around the table and then finally Charlie gets called and he goes up north and just sitting there thinking, wow, I woke up that morning thinking, wow, Shemini Yatzer Simchat Torah, so looking forward, we're going to be all together, it's a beautiful day, like, thank you, Baruch Hashem, thank you, Kadosh Baruch And I'm seeing one by one, the children are leaving. And I said, okay, this can't be, this is, this is Shemini Yatzer Simchat Torah, this is the Chag of the Yehud, with the Kadosh Baruch 
tough bet to show we've been saying? through Rosh Hashanah, we've yeah. been through Yom Kippur, we've been through Sukkot, we're waiting for this day. It cannot be that this period, it cannot be. And I said to myself, I said, no, this is true love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu to us. I'm not going to feel Peirud. I'm just going to be together with this thought. I'm going to keep it with me. And that's what I kept on telling everybody. This is, we feel HaKadosh Baruch Hu's love. We have to feed it. We have to feel the good of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Okay, we didn't know what was ahead of us, but um, that would say Shabbat. I got a phone call from my son, Asher. Um, and I heard him, he usually never called after anything that he did in the army. Everything was very quiet, hush hush. And he called and he was, his voice was just broken. And I, I couldn't believe he was calling. I couldn't believe I was hearing this voice. And he said, Mom, you don't know what we saw here. You don't know what was going on. He fought that day in Re'im. And he, um, his friends got killed. His officers got killed. He, he said, he said what they saw was just, they couldn't have, have even prepared for such, for such a terrible, terrible thing that was going on. I came home, it was Motei Shabbat. I lit the two candles. It was like two Malava Malka candles. And I just sat in my davim and I said to Hilim, and I prayed. And we hadn't heard from Yosef. The next day, um, Sinai joined us and, and my daughter, Ravital, and my daughter, Yaeli, because all the men were out fighting. So the girls all came, we were all together and with the grandchildren. And we were hopeful. We were like, okay, we haven't heard from Yosef, but I understood he's fighting. We're not going to hear from him. Meanwhile, my son, Asher, was very... Um, very concerned. Um, he found out that Dudaban soldiers were fighting that day in Kfar Aza, and he heard that there were some that were killed, and he wasn't getting any answers. And the only answers he was getting were the answers that he was giving to the wife of his best friend that had gotten killed that Shabbat. Like, oh, you don't know, there's a big mess, we don't know, we can't. So he got those answers, and he said that, you know, this isn't good. He was busy still fighting that, Sunday, Sunday night, he said he didn't sleep. He didn't want to wake up, wake up to the reality of Monday because he kind of like knew what was going on. He eventually managed to reach people in the army and he he said, okay, you know what? I figured this out and just don't go to my parents' house without me. And he actually, towards that evening, it was Kaf Hei Tishrei. It was actually my anniversary, the 33rd anniversary, and also my English birthday. I was out on a walk with Revital, my daughter-in-law, and with Sinai. And we came home and I saw my husband standing at the gate. And I said to him, happy anniversary. And he looked at me and he's like, with such chesed, he gave me a hug and he said, happy anniversary. And then he kind of summoned that. I should look across the road and I saw my son Asha standing there in his uniform next to two officers. And the look on their faces. I, so eventually we managed to gather everybody together and and uh, what can I say? From then to now, wow. I mean, Sinai and I, we, you know, the whole family, and I'm Israel. What we're going through is just like indescribable. But there's tremendous strength and tremendous beauty. And the thought that I had on Shemini Atzeret, when I said, this can only be the good of Akadosh Baruch Hu, there is only Akadosh Baruch Hu. You know, we can be, go beyond good and bad. We can say, okay, we can see beyond that. Because when is Akadosh Baruch Hu? It's a hard thing to say, but there is no good and evil. It's only good. It's only a Kadosh Baruch Hu. And if we can have those eyes, and we do have those eyes, and we do have the ability to see that, then that's where it's going to be. That's where we're going to be at. And that's what Sinai and I have been holding on together. And that's what we've been saying. And, you know, we talk about it. I had a dream that Yosef, um, in the dream, he, was, he appeared. And I said, oh, you're here. And he said, yeah, and you know, all the acts that we do. And I was like, wow, and I have that with me. And he's like, all the acts that we do, all the acts of chesed, it raises the sparks, the nitzotzot. And with that, that's called triyata metim, that's called machayem metim. But not only that, we know, we know. And, and speak to all the mothers and all the wives, and they say, okay, we're just waiting. These boys, they're coming back because they, they, there's, no other, there's no other way. They're coming back. And we know that. And we know it's going to be soon. I just want to talk about what Yosef did that day in Kfar Aza. He went, he, the day of Shemini Yatzer, he left the house and he went down to the base and then he got together with four soldiers. They weren't called. Yosef chose to go. There was no calling. He went down with the other three guys to Kfar Aza. When he went in, they um, straight away, there were four David vehicles that went in and they straight away, they actually 
got to a house where there was somebody that was very seriously wounded. And we have actually a video of it because there was an, a policeman there with a camera on his helmet that had everything, um, everything videoed. And we see how Yosef and the guys, they, they pick up the guy, they put him in the David and they take him out. We actually met with this guy. He was on the verge of death and he's alive now. He's a Shabbat officer. Shabbat. And he um, he's alive. Bishut, Bishut Yosef. He actually, when he was in America, he um, he was in America for the army and he was teaching about the drones in America because that's what he did. He was the one that, he was a project, projector for the um, Sevet al Bamod for the drones. And he actually brought the drones into the Dudavan unit so they were very high level of um because they would go out nearly every night Yosef was a soldier that went out nearly every night because they did not go out to any mission without the drones you know even the day of Simchat Torah Yosef was meant to go out um at two o'clock and you know so that was that was Yosef's life that was Yosef and Sinai's life together as a couple Yosef was always coming home and going out again you know to Yudan Shamron fighting and um he um it was unbelievable to watch. I mean, he would come home and Friday night he would go out and he would come back Shabbat morning and he would do Hagba with the Sefer Torah, the family minion. That was Yosef. It was just beauty. It was pure beauty of being a soldier and also holding the Torah all in one because that was it, the love of Am Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael. That was what Yosef did. So after Yosef was in Kfaraza that day, he fought for about two, three hours. He saved lives. He was. We heard stories about what he did. Um, after at about I think it was two o'clock on um, on Shabbat afternoon, they finally were the, the, the last vehicle that was able to that was still moving, and they were told to go to Kfar Atzirim. Actually, they went themselves to the Kfar Atzirim at the end of uh, Kfar Aza near the gate, and um, apparently there were hundreds and hundreds of Machablim there, terrorists there. They get there, they see an RPG. They wanted to get to the RPG, but the RPG was shot at them by a terrorist from very close range. And um, therefore, the, the car started like the vehicle but was burning from inside, so they had to all get out. Joseph and his friend Guy tried to get the weapons out from the from the vehicle. They weren't able to. The other two managed to jump out from the front, and then eventually Joseph and, uh, and Guy managed to get out from the front. When they got out, they were grenades were thrown at them. The second grenade, Joseph shouted, Rimon, grenade, and he jumped one way. His friend Guy jumped the other way. Joseph jumped towards the gate of Faraza, and um, that was... The last he, he was, I think, shot at that point. Um, they couldn't reach him for three hours. He was known as missing. Uh, finally, at five o'clock, a friend of his from the unit, from the drone unit, managed to get to Kfar Aza, put up a drone, and actually saw Yosef's body beyond the gate. Saw terrorists actually dragging Yosef's body. They were trying to drag him into Aza. And they actually, thank God, managed to send the Golani force who killed the terrorists and they managed to retrieve Yosef. Um, so but we were told only on Monday and the buy was only Wednesday. I just want to talk a little bit about Yosef Hatzadik from Bereshit and which I, I feel that, you know, Yosef, our Yosef was just truly Yosef HaTzadik. Like my son Asher spoke at the Levi and he gave a hesped and he said, you know, Yaakov Avinu and Yosef didn't see each other for 22 years. And we had this hut, the tremendous hut of having Yosef with us for 22 years. I want to talk about Estelle. Both Yosef and Estelle. So what does it say in the Psukim? In Bereshit, it says, Vayhi Hashem et Yosef, Vayet elav chesed v'yiten, Chino b'nei sar bet hasor. There's a chen and a chesed that's on Yosef, that's part of Yosef. And what does it say in Megillat Esther? Vayohav ha-melech et Esther v'tisa chen v'chesed l'fanav. You know, from the beginning of the Torah till the end of the Megillah, here we have Megillat Esther, the end of the Ketuvim, we have this thread that's pulled through, this chen and chesed, that's bestowed on Yosef and on Esther. We can ask, what is this chen? You know, what is this attribute? It's apparently it's a spiritual attribute. The um, Orachai Makadosh on the Pasuk in Bereshit, he says that God bestows this attribute of chen, and it's kind of the shechina resides on that person. The shechina resides on the person that beholds this chen. 
So it's not actually an attribute that you can say that the person that has fen is actually has this trait or that trait. It's kind of like the shechina just is residing on them. And what's so beautiful when I think about it, and I thought about this today, he said, oh my goodness, you know, Yosef had tremendous fen, tremendous, tremendous fen. And his traits, like his attributes were so unbelievable. Like they were kind of like opposites that came together as one. On one hand, he was so, so humble. He never told us anything he did. Like he was very, very quiet. And on the other hand, he was a commander and he led. He did tremendous things. He brought his unit to that, to being that most highly functioning unit with the drones in Israel. He, he, and they, and they, all the techniques that he taught, you know, they're using now. He was also very, very sweet, very kind and very gentle. And yet we hear, and I couldn't believe this, the tremendous warrior that he was. And these were these two opposites that came together in Yosef. And you can say, how do these opposites, how can they be together? And we know that the Shekhinah, you know, the Hafachim, the fire, the water, they're one. There's no separation. And there was no separation in Yosef. There's no separation when the Shekhinah is residing on you. There is no separation. It's all one. And that was Yosef. He emanated this kind of this oneness, this beauty that you really, when you were with him, you really felt the Shekhinah was on him. And I just have some beautiful things to say, like stories to tell. For example, when Yosef was in the army, so we heard afterwards from the officers, they would say, you know, what would we tell our soldiers? We would tell them, to you come on Yosef, be like Yosef. And when Yosef was a, in Madrid, in summer camps, what would the head counselors say to the younger counselors? They would say, be like Yosef. And this was something that was everywhere. And when Yosef actually, he received a reward um, of excellence um, when he was in the commander unit, when he finished his training. And of course, he didn't want to tell us about it. And I kind of found out. And then we managed to actually get to the ceremony. And then my husband went up to one of the officers and he said, so tell me, what's this award for? And he said, because he's Yosef. So you understand, it was this, like Yosef, as I call it, which is really this beautiful chen, which is going to let the Shekhinah residing. This is like the attribute of chen. And this is what Yosef, this is what Yosef, he just like, it emanated from him with such beauty. He loved Am Yisrael. He loved Eretz Yisrael. He loved Torah Yisrael. He gave his whole heart and soul. He was there first. That was it. It was just pure love and pure Shekhinah. Um, I just also a beautiful, beautiful thing that that is happening in Am Yisrael, in, in you know, and in Eretz Yisrael. So I don't know if you've heard of Iris Chaim, but Iris Chaim is a beautiful lady who actually I met, I was introduced to at um, at Opanat Chorev. My youngest daughter goes to Opanat Chorev, and the head of the Opanat Rav Oded, he asked if I could come. It was right after the Shloshim to the Opana for a um, tefillat hamunim of all the school, the Banadi was going to be broadcasted, and um, to sing and to, and to pray for the Chayalim and for Shoma Medina and for the Chatufim. And Rav Oded also invited Iris Chayim. And Iris spoke and I spoke. I mean, the video is on YouTube. You can get a link. And um, when I met Iris, she said to me that her son, Yotam, had been kidnapped from Kfar Atzirim and Kfar Aza. And I looked and I said, oh, my goodness. I said, my son, he was killed. He was killed in Kfar Atzirim in Kfar Aza. And I'm telling you something that happened that moment. And Iris is going around the whole, every, she's going around the country. I mean, this woman doesn't tire for a second. She doesn't stop. And I've heard from many sources where she's gone and she's spoken. It's kind of gone back to me that she says the same thing. And every time she says it, she cries. She said at that moment, at that moment, she understood that my son Yosef, who wore tzitzit and kept Shabbat, and he was killed trying to save the lives of the people in Kfar Aza, of Am Yisrael, and her son, who didn't wear tzitzit, didn't keep Shabbat, he was actually going out, you know, to, to, to play music on that, on that day. She said, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Your Tam Yosef, it's all one. It's all Am Yisrael. It's all one Neshama. And she said, she's a woman. She's a kibbutznikit. She's from Shomer Atzir. She said, you know, she saw me. She calls me Yishachar Edit Mi Bet Shemesh. And she said, all of a sudden she realized, oh my goodness, there's no separation. We are all one. And, and, and she's going around talking about this and people are just being touched. And I just, I keep hearing, it keeps coming back to me when people tell me, and it's just beautiful. And I think that how I see it anyway, is that Yosef's beauty, Yosef's beauty is just coming through. Yosef's light is coming through. The Shekhinah that's coming through to us, 
also through Yosef that touched Iris Chaim so deeply, so, so deeply, that I say now that, you know, he said like, we want to So Iris Chaim Akshav, he motzet chen vachesed beinei elokim v'adam. She has such chen, and all of Am Yisrael see the chen of Iris Chaim because she, and because she, she actually, she recognized the Shechina at that moment. She recognized God. And now Am Yisrael see her beauty and her chen, and she's giving that over. She's giving that over to, to all of Am Yisrael, and it's giving such strength. And, that, and that's where it's at. That's where we're holding. Another story I just want to share of the beauty of Am Yisrael. Just like yesterday, there was a knock on the door. And it happens a lot. People keep coming with packages. They just want to show solidarity. They want to give us all, give them, give us their love. And yesterday, a couple knocked on the door with a package, and they were just going to give the package and walk away. And I said, "No, please. Do you know, do you want to? Um, can I show you a picture of Yosef?" And uh, they came in in the end. And I told them about Yosef, and I told them what happened in Kfar Aza. And then they were both very moved. And it turns out that they actually know Iris Chaim because they grew up in the kibbutz that Iris is from. And they also, they live now in a place in the, in the yeshuv in, in the center of um, Israel. But that Shabbat of Simchat Torah, they were actually down south by the parents. And they were stuck in a mamad for many, many hours in tremendous fear. And um, they were saved actually by Dutavan soldiers. They said they released, they got them out of their Motzei Shabbat. But I thought it's so beautiful that they're going from house to house, this couple, on their own. They made these packages and they're going and they're giving it out to, to, to many families because sadly there were many families of Shkol and um, there are many Giborim that love Am Yisrael, that love Eretz Yisrael. And this couple are going around just giving these packages out. And just sending their love and sharing their solidarity. And I said to me, it's we're all one. That's it. There's no separation. And and I think that's that's where it's at. That's like the beauty of Am Yisrael. And that's what we have. And that this chen chesed, that, that thread, we have it. Shechina resides upon us. We just have to open our eyes when we have to recognize. So, you know, that's it. That's where it's at. And, and God is everywhere. And just see the good. Yosef in his life. It's not that they had to look for good. He actually knew that it was good already. And, um, and it was just so beautiful. It was just so beautiful. And I learned from Yosef, and we all learned from Yosef, that it is good. And then when we see that it is good, then we bring more good. And we should be zocher, should be met, should. And we are zocher, that the chut chesed is mashuch aleinu. We have it. It's bestowed on us. And we have that chen of HaKadosh Baruch Hu Aleinu. And we just have to see it. And we just have to recognize that chen in everybody you meet. Just see that beauty and that chen in everybody. With the chesed that we do. And I think that's where it's at. When we say, Sim Shalom, Tova Bracha, Chaim, Chen Vachesed, Staka Vrachamim Aleinu. Vezat Hashem, Bar Kol Yisrael Amecho, Barchenu Avinu Kulanu, Keechad Baor Panecho. This is actually the gate in Kfar Asa. We put up a flag when we went to visit Kfar Asa and we said, we said the Pasuk. Yosef Malachi Gedalia. Zeashar Lashem Tzadikim Yabobo. This is Yosef Lekotel on Yom Yerushalayim. This is Yosef, who's a beautiful soldier. This is Yosef the warrior, who we didn't know, but he was a tremendous warrior. Yosef and Sinai, the cutter. This is actually one of his favorite pictures. This is Yosef actually in Kfar Aza, saving the life of the Shabbat person, taking him onto the David. This Yosef and his team. That person is alive today. This is Yosef. He got married a year, Erev, um, Erev Yom Kippur, a year ago, just over a year ago. Yosef, Yosef and Sinai, they loved traveling throughout the country. That was their joy. They loved the Arabs. And this is our family. This was a picture taken at a wedding with my nephew. 
overlooking Amman and Atsir in Yerushalayim, right before Rosh Hashanah. This is Yosef. And if you just look, you just see the beauty of him. And you think, just look at him and just recognize the Chen. And that's what we can take with us. And the Chen is upon all of us. As soon as we see the Shekhinah everywhere, we recognize it in each other. And Bezat Hashem, Menachnu, Menachnu Zochim, Od Mat, Geula Shlema, Mamash. Bezchut Kol HaTzadikim, Bezchut Kol HaGiborim, Bezchut Kol Am Yisrael, Bezchut Kol HaNashim. Bezchut Kulam, Bezat Hashem, Gam Yachzuru Kol HaChatufim. We should just see only good and hear only good. And, and it's happening. And, and we believe that and we know that. Tina, do you want to um, do you want to say the the tefillah for the chayalim? Would you like to? Yeah, I'm just going to get into the tefillah for the chayalim. Definitely, you want to say that? Hold on a second. Okay. Um, um, I took five minutes. It's about five thirty. You're not. Hold on a second. I'll put it up. מי שברך אבותינו, אברהם, יצחק ויעקב, הוא יברך את חיילי צבא ההגנה לישראל ואנשי כוחות הביטחון, העומדים על משמר ארצנו וערי אלוהינו, מגבול הלבנון ועד מדבר מצרים ומן הים הגדול עד לבוא הערבה, בכל מקום שהם ביבשה, באוויר ובים. ייתן אדוני את אויבינו הקמים עלינו ניגפים לפניהם. הקדוש ברוך הוא ישמור ויציל אתכם מכל צרה וסוכר, מכל נגע ומחלה. לך, ברכה והצלחה בכל מעשה ידיהם, ידבר שונאינו תחתיהם ויעצרם בכתב ישועה ובטר ניצחון. יקוים בהם הכתוב כי אדוני אלוהיכם ההולך עמכם ולכם לכם עם אויביכם להושיע אתכם ונאמר אמן. יהי רצון לפניך, אדוני אלוהינו ובלהי אבותינו, שתתמלא ברחמים עלינו ועל כל עמך ישראל, ותצילנו ותושיענו מיד כל אויבינו ושונאינו, ומקף כל מבקשי רעתנו. הפר עצתם וקלקל מחשבותם, ולא תעשנה ידיהם תושייה, וכמו שנאמר, עוצו עצה ותופר, דבו דבר ולא יקום, כי עמנו אל. ונאמר, אדוני הפיר עצת גויים, הני מחשבות עמים. ויהי רצון שחרבם תבוא בליבם, וקשתותם תישברנה. אנא אדוני, יהמו נא רחמך עלינו ועל כל עמך ישראל. עמוד נא מכיסא הדין, ושב על כיסא הרחמים, ותיכנס לנו לפני ולפנים משורת הדין, ותבטל מעלינו כל גזרות קשות ורעות, ותגזור עלינו גזרות טובות, ישועות ונחמות למען רחמך, ותקרא רוע גזר דיננו. ויקראו לפניך זכויותינו, ומה עזרתה לנו ופתנו למען חסדיך. אנא אדוני, שמור והגן על עבדיך צאן מריתך הנמצאים בשביעייה בעזה, הגן על חיילי הצבא וכוחות הביטחון, הצילנו מכך יקוש, לא תאונה אליהם רעה, ונגע לא יקרב עולם, תצילן מכל מיני פורענויות ותאונות המדרשות לבוא בעולם, ושלח נא רפואה שלמה לכל חולי עמם. לכל הפצועים, עמך, לכל הפצועים, ושמע נא את כל תפינתנו, כי אתה שומע תפילת כל פה, ברוך שומע תפילה, יהיו לרצון אמרי פי והגיון ליבי לפניך, אדוני צורי וגועלי, אדוני עוז לעמו ייתן, אדוני יברך את עמו בשלום, אמן ואמן. אמן. Give you all Mahama and uh, thank you so much for coming on and doing this for us.
We sh we just I would just want you to know, Dina, that we all stand with you, Mamish. I feel it. And Sinai feels it and all of our Israel feel it. We feel it. We feel everybody's love and, and that's and that's the beauty of Am Israel. And that's why we're gonna we're gonna see Gulash Lima because of that beauty, because of the okay. kindness and because because of that thing in that festival. So thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. She you. should have an Elias Nishama he has Amen. the highest. Okay, so um Devora, Devora, can you unmute yourself? We're having a bit of a problem. Um, unfortunately, all the um a lot of um it's all down at the cartel. They're having problems with the um um not Wi-Fi, but with the um broadcast having video issues. Yeah. Kim? Kim, can you try? Can you hear me? Yeah, we yes. do hear you. Can you yeah, hear us? Yeah, we do hear you. Yep. Oh, yeah, good. We can. Okay, so we're trying to, we just left the, yeah. Hi, we, we just left the, the Cotel Plaza, but we're trying to find a place. We can try and, uh, I don't know, the, the mobile networks are all down with video, but you can hear us, correct? Yes, yes correct. We can hear you. Okay. You can hear us? Okay, yes, we so Lori's you. standing here with me, and instead of seeing her, you're going to hear her. Let's try one more time if the video will be activated. Hold on. Something. Are you seeing a black screen? What do you see? Yeah. yeah. No, we see you. No, now we see video. We see you. We see you. Are you seeing us? Oh, great. Yeah, we okay, see hold you. On we on. see Lori. Naomi, Naomi, is it possible to stop sharing the screen? Sharing yeah, the screen. So how, trying to how do the I do that, Chaya? Just share, share, yeah, share okay, the video. No, I, I don't have the video. Okay. Me. Have you got the video that we sent you live from the live I sent it to I sent it to Vora. Oh. But 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 Lori, we can see you, so go ahead. Okay. But turn Ladies. it around. Turn it around. There. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Lori. First of all, I want to introduce the Lori Palatnik. The great, the great Lori Palatnik. Okay, go ahead, Lori. No, it's fine. I'm Lori Palatnik, the founding director of Momentum, and I'm in the old city of Jerusalem. There are tens of thousands of Jews at the Kotel, and we're all going to proclaim God's oneness in four minutes together. You're going to let me know when we're, we're getting close, okay? We were released from its Raim, from our pain and our agony, because we called out and we screamed out to Hashem. Hashem reacts based on our actions. Nachshon ben Aminadav had to walk into the sea before it split. We need to be Nachshon. We need to walk into the sea. The Beit HaMikdash was not destroyed because we didn't keep kosher and Shabbat. It was because of Sinat Chinam, senseless hatred. And the definition of senseless hatred from our rabbi, Rabbi Noach Weinberg, a blessed memory, is when you hate somebody because their mistakes are different than yours. I would never do that, and we believe you, but you would do something else. What's the tikkun? How are we going to turn this around? Hashem's children in his home and his beautiful world hate each other. There is no greater pain for a parent if his if if, our, if their children don't don't love each other. Ahava bekavana, to love with intent. To see within each person, even with their mistakes, what it is to love about them. I want you to think about the people in your life who have caused you pain and done wrong. Done you wrong. They might not even be in this world anymore. And we're all going to forgive them. We're going we're gonna to say, I forgive three times. Are you ready? I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. Hashem, we know you love us so much. And we love you even through all of this. And you put us in time out for a year and a half with a tiny germ because we were not acting at our best and we didn't learn the lessons. Please, we beg of you, bring them home now. Bring home our sisters and our brothers, our children and our grandparents. We love you so much. And we know you want this. You want to and you need to. You want to and you need to. You want to. We're going to change. We're changing right now. Slach Lanu, forgive me. Together we will now proclaim the oneness of God. Are you ready? All of us. 
Shma. Shma. Bring them all down. Down. Show us your miracles. Esther, she stood up against all odds. She was afraid. And Mordecai said to her, Esther, if destruction is going to come to the Jewish people, it doesn't have to be. It, it, don't think that you and your family will be safe in the palace. We all think we're safe in our palaces. And if salvation is going to come to the Jewish people, it doesn't have to be through you. But perhaps Hashem, perhaps he placed you at this time in this place. We are in that place in history at this time in this place. It's up to us, the women in the schut of the Nashim, in the great, the great, in the in the merit of the great Jewish women we got out of Mitzrayim, and the Arizal teaches us that in the schut, in the merit of the Nashim, Mashiach will come. We will rebuild Hashem's home. All the world will know that He is one, and His name is one. It's up to us. The time is now. I understand now. Wow. 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 That was unbelievable. Who wanted to blow the shofar? Are you still on? Would anybody mind if she blew the shofar? Are you yes, still on? Yes, please, please blow the shofar. I don't know if she's still on. Are you still My on? Husband wanted... the we have a shofar here. Do you want please. My, My husband. Please. Please, Dina. Okay, do you want it? Okay, here it goes. So... <laughs> it can be on camera. Here we go. <laughs> Dina, can you come closer to the camp to the to the car to hear it? It's hard to hear it. Okay, it's, it doesn't come through the sound, right? No, the sound doesn't come through, unfortunately. He threw it beautifully. We heard it. Okay. Do you want to say it again? What do you want to say together? Uh, everyone uh, stand with the uh, hand open. And this okay, is her, let's, Naomi. Let's this is she, a lady that wanted yeah, to Yeah, Rivka, Dina yeah. tried. It didn't come through. Dina's husband, do you want to try and see if it comes through? Oh, Rivka, I think I could share my screen. I have it on my oh, screen. Good. I think I could share okay. it if you want. Try. Rivka, go ahead. Try.
Wow. Well, thank you, Rivka. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, uh, Lori. This was really remarkable. And thank you for everybody who came in to say Shema Yisrael together. Thank you, Devorah Benarosh. Thank you for Kim Bash. And um, thank you for Am Yisrael, all the amazing women of Am Yisrael. And uh, may our tefillahs be makabel with complete rachamim and sweetness. We we have a complete fochu uh, this Purim. We see we may we see the Purim miracle all over again with the kavod. All we want is malchus Hashem, malchus ben David, and the building of the base of Mikdash Keher of Ayin. Thank you so much, everyone. Amen. I don't know if Dina wants to say another word before she gets off. Thank you, Dina. Really. I just want you to know that we're mamish standing with you. Thank you so Thank much, you. Nomi, for organizing this for Ami Sorel. It's such a great Shaliach. <sighs> well, wow, it's amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. No, Thank Naomi, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Sorry thank for you all the people who thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. 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 Thank you.